Yo, what is going on guys? This is your boy Creepy Dude. I see you here back with another video. Sorry guys, got a little bit excited because uh, Watch Dogs 2 is actually coming out in like a couple months and you know, I, ju I just can't wait for that shit. I need that shit right now. Anybody, like I mean anybody got some early copy, somebody like, you know, hit me up, you know what I'm saying, Creepy Dude, you know what I'm saying? Like just slide into my DM and then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take the game, alright? Alright, thanks so much, man. But now, guys, actually, today we're talking about Watch Dogs 2 and the possibility that it will indeed have microtransactions in the game. Now, in my last video, I did a uh, sort of breakdown of the new open world walkthrough, and uh, in that, they showed more about the customization options for your character, Marcus, and how you progress through the game through followers and you get more weapons and shit like that. They were just breaking down some of the questions that people had. But then after that gameplay walkthrough came out, a lot of people were taken to Reddit to speak about how the game could possibly have microtransactions. There's a huge debate going about it on Reddit and while some people think that there won't be microtransactions since the first game didn't have them, others feel that with the strong addition of multiplayer, Ubisoft might lead to adding in-game purchases to Watch Dogs 2. So due to various customization options like changing up Marcus's outfit, equipment and things like that, some people feel like the game will go with the, the Grand Theft Auto 5 direction for the online mode. But this might not be too bad because you know for multiplayer, obviously single player will be clean of microtransactions then, so it's not like a pay to win game right? And last year's Assassin's Creed Syndicate did also have microtransactions. But not to the extent of like Grand Theft Auto 5, like buy a uh, shark card for example and get, you know, whatever you want to get. In Assassin's Creed Syndicate, the microtransactions were optional and didn't need to be purchased in order to complete the game. They're only there for players who weren't really familiar with Assassin's Creed games and just wanted to get some of the best items early. Hopefully Ubisoft will take from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And you know what guys, I really hope Ubisoft won't be going full Jersey Shore, you know what I'm saying, taking that top off and shit like that. I really hope that they uh, stick to what they're good at and not like add uh, microtransactions. Because obviously they want to make some money, I can understand that. But I just feel that they shouldn't do it to an extent where it's like a pay to win game. And somebody can have better shit than you just because they bought some shit on the market. Because that's not really fun, man. So yeah, guys, what do you guys think about microtransactions possibly being in Watch Dogs 2 for customization and equipment and stuff like that? Let me know in the comments down below. Love to read your comments, guys. And um, honestly, I think that they should take multiplayer microtransaction aspects from Grand Theft Auto 5, where everybody has everything unlocked at a certain level. And then microtransactions are for like accessories like cars and shit like that. Just so nobody's better than anybody else. Just for buying microtransactions. Yeah guys, my name's Creeper Dude. I see you. Fuck you, e phone. E -fu e -fu I know a lot of you guys have been uh, complaining about some of my old content not being present on my channel anymore. Like Q&As. Like I know you guys really love those. Those are really funny. And uh, not to worry guys, I'm actually going to be bringing those back. This is just a little announcement kind of thing. Because I know you guys really love those. And you know, doing news all the time isn't really fun. And I feel like if you do YouTube, you should do shit that you like. And that makes you happy and your fans happy. So, so stop. Text me on my fucking Instagram, alright? That was a joke. That, that was a joke. Please, please text me on my Instagram. I have no friends, alright? I.